What's up, Leo? Welcome to your October reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate you. And if this reading helps you or is insightful in any way, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate all the love that I've been receiving lately. Um, but yeah, if you guys are wanting to book a private reading with me, all the information for that is listed in the description box down below. And you can find me on my Instagram and TikTok at Jade Stone Tarot. Okay, so with that being said, Leo, let's get right into your reading and see what messages need to come through for you for the second half of October. Any messages for Leo, summarizing Venus for the second half of October, the next couple of weeks? What do my Leos need to know or be aware of? Okay, all right. We have... Six of Swords, Judgment, Temperance. Give me one more. Actually, give me more. <laughs> Not just one more. Okay, we get into the full scope here. King of Pentacles. Messages for Leo. Ace of Wands. It did come out reverse. Okay. Messages for Leo for the second half of October. Hangman, the Four of Swords. Messages. Okay. Page of Pentacles reverse. It seems like you're reviewing something here. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. You're backtracking here, or you're kind of like reevaluating something, looking at the finer details. Yeah, even with the Hierophant underneath there, it seems like you're revisiting some sort of plan, or you're making adjustments to some sort of plan. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like maybe you were, you had some sort of idea that you were thinking about like pursuing or attempting or there was like you had some sort of idea that you were about to act on um or take some sort of risk but for some reason you have this feeling like you should wait or that you should recalibrate or like you should revisit this plan and like something is telling you to stop like with the ace of wands reverse and the page of pentacles reverse something is saying like now is not the time okay now is not the time it's a no right now it doesn't mean that's no forever but at this very moment for some reason you are getting this feeling like i should just i should just give this give this a second let me think about this some more hangman of the four swords let me think about this some more let me like re backtrack retrace some steps that i've taken let me do a double triple check there's some sort of doubt that you're having or there's some sort of hesitation and that's good that you're listening to that and you're not just like, okay, whatever, fuck it, I'm just going to do it and be impulsive and be kind of stupid or foolish. So it seems like you're being very, very careful, very, very cautious about like this, this next step that you're making in your life. We do have judgment out here, which does talk about divine orchestration. So even like you may be like full on board with some sort of plan or some sort of intention that you want to do or bring into your life or take some sort of risk or start something new, but maybe you're not being supported with the divine just yet or maybe like that door is locked like you want to walk through the door but it's just it's not opening for you and that might be the case is because divine orchestration is actually looking out for you and redirecting you to what you're supposed to be doing or the path that you're supposed to be on so if it's not you because you might be like i'm all in it i'm ready let's go and then you try to slide in to whatever direction you're wanting to go and you're just getting hit with a brick wall and you have no other choice it feels like you have no other choice but to surrender to what's out of your control and you're needing to look at something from a different perspective we're going to clarify this all you know we're going to get to the bottom of this and see what is this other perspective that you might not be seeing at this moment or what is it that you're needing to review here what is it that you might be finding out or uncovering but um spirit really is wanting you to be patient and not rush into anything right now don't rush into anything take your time really really slow down we have the knight of pentacles out here it's like you need to just like slow your ass down there is no rush some of you feel like you're running out of time you're like i have to do this i have to do this now i have to get this done but it's like actually you have all the time you need and you need to just slow down and really like pay attention to the little itty bitty details and like dot those i's cross those t's and really pay attention to um what's going on here three of wands and the hierophant so there is the need for you to really connect with your higher self really need to connect with your inner wisdom and your like your knowledge and your experience and 
it's like you need to take a closer look at something here you need to take a closer look at some sort of plan that you made i feel like there could be like some holes or you haven't fully thought something out maybe you thought that you did but now you're starting to second guess or now you're starting to like look at the areas where maybe you could um make some improvements or adjustments in some sort of plan like it's all about some sort of plan that you had in mind and something is having you like wait and backtrack and come up with a plan or maybe it's like you're seeking out advice or you're talking to some family or friends or people that are close to you and you're asking for their opinion because there is something here you are pretty anxious or stressed or or restless about this like there are some doubts that you're experiencing there are some worries and concerns so that's the reason why uh you're really needing to slow down and take a closer look at whatever this is because yeah it's like there's a reason why you're not feeling confident and if you're not feeling confident do not go down that path until you're certain until you feel ready so i'm kind of picking up on this energy it's like you don't feel ready to do something or to take some sort of action or to take some sort of risk or leap or taking some sort of bold move like right now there is some doubt and it's really important that you listen to that because if you try to force it if you try to push through that <laughs> it's funny because i always tell you guys i'm like don't listen to your fears and don't listen to those doubts and like the negative voices but in this case it's like there's something in your gut the fact that we have so much like this intuitive spiritual higher knowledge higher knowing coming through in this reading is like this is telling me that like in your gut something is saying something's not right about this or something's off about this plan or maybe you're needing to wait for the right timing whatever the case is there is a reason why you're feeling this way and um maybe your friends or people that are close to you that maybe you're getting advice from they're saying like leo maybe you should think this out maybe you should just wait a little bit give it some more time think it out um double triple check you know really consider your options here before you jump off that cliff make sure it's the cliff that you actually want to jump off and i do just want to say leo as we are heading into eclipse season this is going to be the time where any changes we make around this time it gets cemented it's like concrete so don't just like make an impulsive choice or decision just because you're feeling it in the moment um because this is gonna be something that is concrete and cemented um especially at least for like the next six months because eclipses are kind of like snapshots of like six months like even six months ago maybe this is something that you were thinking about doing way back then um just saying but yeah I would say right now you should hold off you should hold off you should wait come up with a better plan double triple check before you take any action okay um there's something that you're not seeing or there's something that you're missing or there's something there's more to this that you're not aware of and i think you need some more time to think about this action before you take it before you because whatever this whatever this action is that you're going to be taking it is a big deal and it seems like it will change your life and that's a good thing. Um, I feel like, you know, it could bring in a lot of balance and a lot of fulfillment and a lot of peace and stability and um, even healing. But like at this moment, spirit is just wanting you to make sure that like you're 100% certain. And if you're having any doubts, you need to check in with yourself and ask yourself, where is this stemming from? Why do I feel this way? And like work through that slash kind of find a plan or, you know, just figuring out <laughs> what you're doing here. Because if you're not, if you don't got the full plan, yeah, I just I feel like you need to wait a little bit longer or like look at some review some things. OK, let's do some clarifying. Let's get some details. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, even the hermit hermit and the alchemist before before you start creating this dish in the kitchen, you got to make sure that you have the right ingredients. You got to make sure that you got all the tools, you know, the the rules, not the rules, but the recipe, you know, what steps you need to take. Because if you just go into the kitchen without a plan, you no idea of what it is that you're creating. It's just going to be stressful, chaotic, and it's probably not going to work out or it's going to become a mess or you might fuck something up. <laughs> so uh, spirit is really just like stressing, like, don't, don't make any choices just yet unless you're a hundred percent sure but it shows here like you're not a hundred percent sure so just wait hold off a little bit longer if you can okay um okay what should we look into first uh yeah let's take a look into the six of swords and the ace of wands reverse and see like what is this like 
sudden it feels like it's a sudden delay or a sudden like you know putting on the brakes you're like fully ready to drive forward and then you're like wait a second nope nope it's like all of a sudden you know you're driving and then you get like a like a light it starts flashing you're like wait a minute this isn't right let me pull over to the side right it's like you got to pay attention to those kinds of signs because if you ignore them next thing you know oh you got a flat tire and oh uh you know your radiator is gonna explode or like i don't know so it's just like pay attention to the signs right pay attention if you feel like you know the universe is trying to direct you to go down a different path or to slow down or pay attention to that okay time of the six of swords and the ace of wands reverse for leo sun moon rising venus for the second half of october we have the eight of wands yeah right so there's like there's movement here you're wanting maybe some of you are thinking about moving or traveling um let's see time of the six of swords and the ace of wands for leo six of swords double confirmation time of the six of swords two of swords reversed six of swords and the ace of wands for leo Okay, 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 let's see. Eight of Cups. See, there's movement, walking away or leaving something behind. Prince of Cups and the Hermit reversed. Hierophant, Three of Cups, and Death at the bottom as well as the Fool. Okay. So this is about you. There's definitely movement here, whether you could be, like I said, you might be thinking about moving, you might be thinking about traveling, maybe this is about walking away from something in your life that, you know, you've outgrown or doesn't serve you. It could be a relationship, it could be an environment, workplace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There is you have this idea like you want to move or you want to you want to step out into like new territory and like branch out and expand and that's amazing and that's great and i think you should but spirit with the two of swords reverse this is talking about indecision or there's hesitation and then the fact that the hermit is coming out reverse it's like i think you need to go inwards and reflect on this a little bit longer maybe this is in um in regards to a relationship or a romantic connection or um it's like before you like for some it's like you're thinking about moving in with your partner or something like that or like traveling to no, maybe traveling to see someone or oh what was i gonna say it's gone okay it's vanished but anyway so it's kind of like i don't know for some reason spirit's saying just like wait just wait and then at the bottom we have the hierophant taurus energy which by the way sag and pisces out here as well as more taurus just so you guys know the zodiac signs we have the three of cups um death and the fool and the alchemist wow two of pentacles whoa and the star so this 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 direction that you want to go down it is relating to a wish fulfillment something that you really dreamed of having or wanting but again there's that two of pentacles of like going back and forth um just trying to figure things out and um like it's very obvious here you want to take the risk you want to leave this current environment and branch out you want the change you know that's what's going to make you happy you know that you feel that in your gut that there's certainty within that you know like that is the right move three of cups and the hierophant um and like death to the hierophant and the three of cups is like um this might be changes in some sort of commitment here daily commitment um could be involving multiple people friends co-workers um and it also feels like whatever this changes that you're thinking about making it could lead to like some sort of celebration but it's like and that's great and i do feel like you're gonna eventually take this road but i feel like right now is not the time right now is not the time for some reason okay spirit really is wanting you to just wait so let's let's take a look at the judgment and the hangman i feel like spirit is trying to keep you <laughs> if you can hold on let me just finish this uh if you look at judgment in this deck right there's all these people in these bubbles i feel like spirit's trying to put you back in the bubble and be like wait you're not ready you're not ready or just give it a moment give it some time here like you're being restraint or there's some sort of restriction um hmm we do have saturn going direct oh uh, wait a minute what is this on sunday what's the date on sunday i don't even remember i think that's like the 
23rd. Yeah, Sunday's the 23rd. So Saturn goes direct on there. So I don't Saturn does talk about like restrictions and regulations and rules and responsibilities and um things like that. So <laughs> maybe it's just like once Saturn goes direct, maybe that's when you'll be in the clear. We'll see though. Let's let me clarify this a little bit <laughs> and see what's going on. Time of judgment and the hangman. I just feel like all of a sudden, like you're about to jump off you're about to jump into the water and then next thing you know you got caught up in this fish net and you're like wait why am i being pulled out or it's like as soon as you jump into the water spirits are like taking you back out and we're like nope 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 and you're like wait what like confused as ever like sudden change of events that you didn't plan for or didn't see coming talk about judgment and the hangman for leo summarizing venus for the second half of october 2022 Time at the hangman and judgment for Leo. This is definitely like divine orchestration. Like the universe is really looking out for you, Leo. Although you might be seeing this in like, um, maybe you're seeing this more like a negative perspective or like you're kind of getting maybe fed up or annoyed or you just, you know, getting antsy and just wanting it now. Um, there's a reason why this is being delayed or there's a reason why spirit is holding you back at this moment. And you need to have faith and be trusting that this is just part of the plan. Okay, Talent of Judgment and the Hangman. Devil. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ten of Swords. Whoa. Judgment and the Hangman. Eight of Swords. Wow. Okay. There's a lot... There's a lot of overthinking here. There's a lot of like mental stress and um, feeling kind of... There's the energy of feeling trapped. That Eight of Swords and the Devil feeling trapped um even feeling trapped in like a a situation that you no longer want to be involved in it's kind of like you were planning on leaving something behind that was making you unhappy and now it's like it turns out you have to wait another week another month um before it's like hold on how can i like so let's say that you maybe are stuck in a contract it's like you can't break the contract as sooner as you thought or there are certain circumstances that you like you got to take care of before you can like leave a certain place or like yeah it just is some sort of um like setback or delay okay three of swords at the bottom ow the fool and the ten of cups that's at the bottom yeah, it's like you just literally you just want to be free from this. You just want to be on the other side of this. And yet you are feeling trapped and you're like, fuck, like, I just want out. I just want out. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling trapped. I'm in my head. Uh, what if I'm stuck here forever? What if maybe this path that I was planning on going down? What if it's not for me? Mm. Getting so caught up so stressed and it's it's a lot and i feel like it's negatively impacting you mentally and emotionally because again it's like you are so close to tasting this with the three of cups and the next thing you know it's like you're back in this in this cage and you're like fuck <laughs> but um there, there's a reason why this is happening i just want to know like what's the reason like why what's going on here let me look into let's take a look at the temperance and the four of swords let's take a look into this combination um don't worry you guys i will be getting advice at the end of this reading but yeah talk about temperance and the four of swords you know what i kind of want to say with the king of pentacles to the page of pentacles reversed maybe this is happening because there's going to be a better offer that comes in there's maybe something like it's about the timing i feel i feel like it has to do with the timing of events and it's all gonna work out for you although right now it's hard to see the bigger picture um because a lot of this is happening outside of your control but i feel like it's because there's something better that's coming in but it has to do with the timing and spirit is just saying like just wait just wait um it's like you do you want the economy the the economy plane ticket or do you want to have a free upgrade to first class oh you want to board the plane quick enough you want to be the first to board the plane well okay you'd be the first to board the plane but you sit in the economy but if you wait a little bit longer i can get you an upgrade to first class so do you want that upgrade to first class or do you want to get in the economy and sit like next to someone and be squished in the aisle seat and like <laughs> or like the middle seat right you're screwed and you have no leg room <laughs> you know it's kind of like that it feels like you have a, a 
upgrade or like spirit has some better offer for you and you you were like oh here we go there's this offer and spirit's like no smacks that out of your hand you're like we have something better for you so just wait and you're like wait but that's what i want is spirit's like no 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 we have something better for you just trust me trust me bro <laughs> oh yeah okay so um temperance and the four of swords so just try not to get in your head about this try your best not to stress too much about this um there is another way you're just not seeing it right now tell me about temperance and the four of swords for leo for the second half of october alchemist reverse see this is telling me out of your control this is not what you planned for this is not what you expected um this was completely outside of your control here queen of pentacles yeah and you're out of your comfort zone we have the moon coming out yeah there <laughs> wow look at the double confirmation four of swords coming out again with the sun and the five of wands leo energy and also you guys the moon the sun and the moon eclipse energy this is screaming eclipse oh wait wrong card <laughs> i was holding the wrong card the moon and the sun this is eclipse wait what Oh my god, <laughs> what the hell? Bro, that happened twice. That was like, I like look at my screen. I'm like, wait, what? I swear to god. Okay, <laughs> eclipse energy. We have the partial solar eclipse in Scorpio taking place on the 25th of October. And then we have the lunar eclipse in Taurus somewhere in October. I can't remember the exact date. So I feel like this is all this is all part of the plan this is all part of divine orchestration right now spirit is saying just just chill in your comfort zone for this moment just chill right in where you're at stay cozy just hold on tight okay just sit and wait and when when you're ready you'll get the call you'll get the green light you'll get the go ahead but right now all you need to do is sit tight and just stay balanced stay grounded because a better offer is coming in okay and you got to be ready for it you got to be ready to receive it and you're kind of struggling with that you're kind of struggling with that here with the five of wands you're kind of like struggling with um letting go of this control um like you might be tempted to just like say fuck it and do it anyways but seriously like in your best interest just wait just wait just a little bit longer and you're going to know exactly when to give this a chance or when this you'll know you'll just right now right now for some reason spirit is wanting you to just wait sit your ass down and wait okay okay all right um let's quickly we're, we're gonna pull some advice but let me look into the the knight of pentacles the three of wands and the hierophant let's take a look at this plan that you need to reevaluate or or um take another look at turn at the knight of pentacles three of wands and the hierophant Maybe you're needing to do more research or more, like I said, more planning. Talk about the Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Hierophant. You are needing to take a closer look at the details or the fine prints. Wow, can I shuffle? <laughs> All right, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Hierophant. That's the last one last shuffle knight of pentacles three of wands and the hierophant prince of pentacles double confirmation it's just been consistent in this reading slow your ass down slow down chill take it nice and easy slow and steady there is no need to rush you're exactly where you need to be Although it may not match up or line up with what you had planned or what you had in mind. Trust me, this is all working out for you. Hierophant, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify this for me. Three of Pentacles, double confirmation. Check in with your friends. Um, maybe get a second or third opinion from someone that you trust. Ten of Wands, reverse. I feel like that's going to ease a lot of your stress, a lot of your you know anxiety. It's just like you know talk to someone that you trust talk to someone that um you look up to or that you um yeah like someone that you trust like i have no other words for that <laughs> like you wouldn't take advice from someone that you don't trust you wouldn't take advice from someone that like you wouldn't trade lives with right so yeah spirit saying like maybe talk to a friend or get some advice from people that uh are are, are aware of your situation that will ease some of your stress. 
there's something that you're needing to let go anything else about this prince of pentacles uh three of wands and the hierophant nine of wands and the star and also at the bottom we do have the five of cups so i would say that there is some disappointment on your end right kind of feeling like maybe rejected or feeling like maybe this is not gonna happen or it's too good to be true or just like the energy of feeling let down the emotions of feeling let down disappointed because again you were so close to this opportunity and then it just seems like it was taken away or snatched away and you're like what got your hopes up and then what but it's it's trust me it's because there's something better that's coming in and it's gonna be what you asked for but even more even grander even better so trust me leo this is gonna be this is gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it let me get you some advice uh give me a second where the hell um there's more cards oh my god like <laughs> struggling right now there we go advice for leo any advice insight or extra messages for leo for the second half of october show me clearly what final thoughts final messages or advice do my leos need to hear for the second half of october in regards to the situation any advice for leo any advice for leo for the second half of october oh shit we have the hawk dude leo this is divine orchestration spirit is more aware of well, like you only see a certain percentage of what's really going on here the hawk talks about divine orchestration the universe looking out for you and seeing more than what you are aware of and they like this is about needing to see things from a higher perspective or a bigger uh, uh, yeah bigger picture bigger vision um and this does talk about unexpected shifts that you're unable to plan for that you didn't see coming this might be news this might be information that you receive or just like again like all of a sudden the wind just completely changes directions and you kind of have to just roll with it <clears throat> don't resist this change but this is like massive news that's coming in or um you're going to be receiving some sort of news and you're going to be glad that you just waited a little bit longer like okay let's see what else needs to come out any advice or extra messages for leo for the second half of october 2022 the fox this is about some again about some sort of commitment about some sort of with the firefly and the zebra and the dragon at the bottom of the deck trust your gut really needing to trust your gut um and also the energy of spirit that is watching over you okay um there are so the hawk to the fox this is talking about changes in regards to some sort of commitment there is a change that's going to be taking place a change that you don't see coming um like some of you have like an offer that you never thought you were going to receive you thought that you had to get it somewhere else and turns out it was right where you found like it's i can't seem to exactly pinpoint this but um it just seems like it's working out in your favor the advice for the fox it, it does talk about needing to have more fun more playfulness in your life and um just adjusting to these changes that are occurring for you being flexible the fox is very adaptable the fox is very um like they they adjust well with change so that's like with the hawk talking about change that you aren't able to prepare for or that you don't see coming you need to be adjustable you need to be flexible and you need to just roll with what's coming your way the firefly the firefly is a very creative energy you're going to be hit with lots of ideas that come up randomly it could be through your most basic thing like you know making <laughs> making your bed in the morning or you know putting away your laundry or you know driving like all of a sudden you get hit with some ideas or the firefly talks about little bursts of like insight or information that comes to you it could also talk about like creative ideas but this that i'm feeling like this is like little nuggets of insight about why the things are happening the way they are and that's why you really need to be in tune with your intuition and then the fact that we have the zebra that came out next which 
which is highlighting the third eye, your intuition, what your, your mind's eye, um, what you're not aware of, um, needing to trust that this is about expansion. This is about freedom. This is about, um, like branching out of your comfort zone and being more adventurous and like taking the risks, of course. But like I said, for some reason you are being asked to just like sit and wait and just hold off for a little bit longer until it is like until the coast is clear all right uh and you'll you'll know when that is okay and so until then you sit wait and let it come to you okay so i'm gonna leave your reading here leo i hope this was helpful and insightful if it was let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel i am available for personal readings if you'd like to book with me and i'm gonna let you go leo thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one take care